We'll have ourselves a pleasant evening. All you out there enjoying your weekends. Some of you staying up extra, extra late for this. We've got our good lucks in the chat. We've got some hover threes. And with that... No reason to delay, it is time to play game number one in... Three, two, one, Tetris. Those pieces look the same. Excellent. We're off and running. Game number one of the semifinals. Between the number eight seed, SP Nestris, and the number five seed, Xenophilius, is underway. And we're tied. About to count. Nope. Not tied anymore. Tied again. Not tied anymore. You know, despite these folks being three seeds apart in the standings, their qualifiers were only separated by just about 25,000 points. Or one mid-late game Tetris. Like, one level 20 Tetris. So, uh, yeah. Should be a fairly closely fought battle, but these two are absolutely rivals. Right now... 102 for Zeno, 97 for SV, who's got a little bit of digging to do. It's a bar over for a double, gets another one. That's going to give some breathing room here as we get going. Game number one. Still more work to do on SV's board. Zeno taking a split double and then one more double to get things to the ground and a right side well. SV just needs a J. Bar will work. Gets the well open. Has to plug it back up with a number of S pieces. The sequence not really favoring SC so far, but... There's the bar for the Tetris. SV will go to 138. Zeno on 158. A couple of lines back, so... An early Tetris lead. Two Tetris lead. For Xenophilius. Players basically awfully close to each other in all sorts of regards. SD does have a 1.31. Xeno somehow still only has a 1.23, despite the fact that Xeno plays like they have about a 1.9. Both are rollers. Both have 1.1s from 19. Pretty classic stuff. Both scoring Tetris is at exactly the same time. The scores look quite even, but Zeno is six lines back. Let's get a score there to go to 275 and start trying to prove that Tetris lead, but has to take a couple of burns here. About a one Tetris lead. We're past the halfway mark. Game number one. See, opting to fill in the bar dependency before taking the score. Now having to take a couple of burns, waiting for the next bar to come. 282 for SV, 324 for Zeno. Added Tetris for SV to go 305. About a one Tetris difference at the moment. You know, having to take a few burns just to keep things safe, keep things cleaned up. Creates a dependency just in time for the bar. Does Zeno... SV had the well covered when a bar comes. Who didn't get that L all the way over, but gets a bar for a Tetris to lower things down, give a little room, perhaps a chance to get something over there. But SV, bar dependent on the left, fills it in with a J, takes a score. Zeno, double flip of a bar, covers the well for a few moments. It's covered up when that bar comes, but use the bar to take a single. 
they are trying to keep things open, and you see the wry little grin on Zeno's face there as the second they covered the well, another bar came. This time, don't cover it up. The bar comes, gets a Tetris. 382 for Zeno, 384 for SV. SV ahead by a few lines still. Both players working through some issues, and now both cleaned up. Very nice. 409 for SV, 385 for Zeno, whose well is covered once again, and... Ooh. That TP is very unhelpful. Shake of the head there. You know, just trying to... Open the well back up. Slinging pieces off to the left there. 432 for SV at a score to go to 455. Ahead by a handful of lines, but... Trying to open up a bit of a lead in the score as well. Zeno takes two Tetrises. 437 for Zeno. 455 for SV. So SV with the lead here with five lines left until transition. Now one left after that Tetris there. The lead is slim, but it does exist. About 18,000 points. Less than a Tetris as we prepare for transition. One line away on both sides. You know, going to go in with a single at 461, just trying to keep this board in good condition. Gets about 71 squares that uh, really were not the most welcome. SV into transition at 484, and well covered for a moment. Waiting on a bar. Oh, covers the well when the bar comes. Gets it back open, though. Finally gets back-to-back -back bars for Tetrises. 538 for SV. 470 for Zeno, who is struggling and digging way up high, and that's really dangerous. Oh my goodness gracious, that got over, but nothing else is. 474, Zeno's gonna be done. Part number one will go to SV. GG. SV on the 1 0 lead, Zeno trying to tie it up in 3. Two, one, Tetris. Oh, wow. That opener from SV. Getting the T-Tuck there on the left. It's always interesting to see how high-level players will... Take different piece sets. And now SV with the advantage in this one as uh, he will take first Tetris of the game. You know, requiring a couple more skims. But gets things opened up. 30 triple for SV in the process. Zeno on the board and we're off and running in game number two. SV sending S pieces flying over to the left hand side. A well, hello, said Unicorn420. Welcome to the Challengers Circuit semifinals. First match between SV Nestors and Xenophilius. Upon SV Nestors has taken a 1 0 lead. And 169,000 for SV through 36 lines. Now 192 through 40. Zeno 168 through 38. Back by about a Tetris. As we get going here in game number two. Both players nice and clean. Not a lot to talk about. Well, I guess that nice L spin from SV is something to talk about. You know, preferring to tuck the L, it appears, at least for the moment. 
284 for SZ, 240 for Zeno, who adds a Tetris, but SZ will take it right back. Doge in the chat just saying, got a six tackle max out. That's, uh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. We'll be seeing Doge in just a little bit. In our, in our second semifinal match. I see, ooh, a lot of uncomfortable pieces for this board. It has a bar dependency in column four and is trying to avoid making another one. Zeno's board not very comfortable either. Oh, can't spin tuck the T and Zeno digging pretty high up now. That L didn't burn. Gotta wonder if he meant to if they meant to flip it the other way. But alright, getting some good pieces to burn this back down. Both players surviving some sticky stacks. Good Corian adjustment. You know, they are on 306 at a score. Go 329 as SV adds one to go to 391. You know, having to take a few more skims here. SV not clean either. Both players having their fits through this midsection of this seed. You know, nice and clean. SV one Mino away from being clean, and the bars keep coming when he is not. Zeno trying to come back into this game is four lines ahead. After that touches from SV, no longer. It's 422 for SV, 380 for Zeno, who adds a score to go to 403, down by about a Tetris and a half. We pass over the 100 line marker, approaching the transition to 19 speeds. 20 lines left for both players now. Those not in the know, it's 130 lines is when the speed will increase by 50%. Things will advance at a much more rapid rate. Got a two Tetris lead for SV as we approach this transition. Three Tetris is possibly left for Zeno. SV has got one left, one line left. Any skim or anything will take SV to the transition. SV is at 562 and is going to skim in at 563. Zeno has one Tetris left, is at 498. So looking to go into Tetris, perhaps a shade behind, but not too far bad. 524. SV already dealing with some minor complications, but hits that nice T-spin. Absolutely vital, or that stack would have really been in a state. Not that many helpful pieces have come afterwards for SV, but he's digging out of it. Staying under control, cool, calm, and collected. Actually, don't take that first bar right. Takes the second one right for a triple, does SV. Zeno, 556 on level 20. 602 for SV Nestris, so the lead hasn't changed very much. Zeno not yet able to take advantage of the digging that SV's had to do. Both players barely separated by any lines at all. SV now playing up off of row two and finally gets a bar for a score there to go to 637 into 22. Zeno's at 566, takes a triple, gets one bar for a Tetris, has to just use the next to keep getting set up is at 600. Still only about a 40,000 point difference now up at level 22. Both players now clean, settled in, stacking a Tetris for SV. Zeno fires back 669, 629. Six times hey now for SV, shout outs for that. Uh... At another touch of zone, SV's into 23 at 698. Zeno pulling some very quick tucks, but is going to get back to back jacks to go to 687 and 23. 727 for SV Nestris. 40,000 points continuing to separate these players and stayed basically at that mark the entire time through this post. Neither one really able to gain a foothold over the other. SV Tetris ready, waiting for the bar. Zeno, one Mino over the well, but uh, has to add a little bit more weight. 
Now finally gets it open, but SD! SD's bored! In serious trouble! Can't get pieces over, and it's gonna be done at 768! 768, 760! The top out score, Zeno's gotta find 769,000 points. Hey now, ooh! Uh, overflipped a piece there. Zeno now, knowing they're in a chase down situation, lowering the stack down quite a bit. Put a little weight over that hole. You know, appearing to go into line-out mode. But there's a bar, there's a Tetris. 782,000 is enough to level the set off. One-to-one, -one. GG. We're all knotted up at one. Who's going to take advantage and take the lead in? Three, two, one, Tetris. Yeah, that looks like the same start, because that's just a lot of the same piece. We're underway in Game 3. Good little S spin from SV and a T tuck as well. And Zeno going, I can tuck T's too, and they do. We're often running exact same score through 14 lines. Not anymore as Zeno took a double, SV took a single. Both players clean stacking. Wow. See the way that piece changed directions for Zeno? They were like, nope, I don't want that there. I want it elsewhere. And it just flies around. I'm telling you, rollers are OP. But it helps to also be very good at the game of Tetris, which these two clearly are. I don't know if rolling would help me. <laughs> One eighty five for SV, one sixty five for Zeno. These players separated by about one Tetris. SV in the lead as we get to the forty line marker in game number three. SV is gonna add a oh, I mean I mean uh excuse me, Zeno is gonna add a couple Tetris there, go to 234, SV, a little bit of digging to do is at 32. Ooh. Could possibly have made an adjustment for the bar for the LP, but did not. It's okay. Is the final today? It is. It will be at the conclusion of the two semifinals matches, the first of which you are viewing now. So in about an hour or so, I'd say. Perhaps a shade less, perhaps a shade more, but a safe bet would be around an hour. Petrus for SV, gonna go to 286, 900. We're actually dead even tied there until a single from SV. I mean, we're only separated by a thousand points at the moment. These two playing it uh, quite tight. Again, still only separated by a scant few points we proceed through. Zeno trying to take a Tetris lead here. Managing to stay a smidgen more efficient on the, on the skims and the burns. But, I mean, again, we are talking, it is very tight. Oh, and a bit of a... 
this shift perhaps there with that Z piece and Zeno's got a hole just hanging out. But intelligent as they are, there's myriad ways they can find to patch this up. One is with that bar. Another bar would be great for a perfect well transfer. There it is. You know what? 433, SV at 410, digging a little bit. About halfway up the board here. Gets the well back open. Now just waiting on the bar. Bar not coming for SV. This board getting higher. Uh, it's a great alpha double followed by a bar for another one. Dino not clean either at the moment. SV taking a great double with that T into the Tetris. SV at 4.44, Zeno 4.46. Yeah, no, I believe we are still in neck territory. Thank you very much for the follow, Mr. I Can't Beat Dark Souls 2. The sequel to I Can't Beat Dark Souls. Then again, who could beat Dark Souls 2? That game is... Ugh. I won't go into that right now. We have Tetris to compensate. We have Zeno at 452. We have SV at 479. A lot lower down and safer at the moment. And transition rapidly approaching for both players. Zeno is now clean, just waiting at a bar. And is taking its time showing up. Finally does. Transition at 507 for SV. 485 for Zeno. But Zeno immediately adding a Tetris on. And that's really going to knock this lead down to very little. As SV having to take some skims, some burns. Another Tetris for Zeno. Up to 533. SV is up on level 20 at 516. We're off and running in the post-transition. SV's left side a little bit tricky right now. Like an L did not make it all the way to the left. That bar will, though. That'll help out. SV digging away. Dino is clean. Now ahead by a couple of lines. But ahead by 45,000. We get into level 21 on both sides. Finally, Bar comes in for the score for Zeno up to 596. SV is on 530. Trying to get this right side open. One more Mino left to clear, but the right piece not coming for it. And SV having to take some more burns. Finally gets it opened up. Gets Bar, gets a score. 565 for SV. Zeno 657. Opened up almost a 100k lead. SV trying to fight back. Gets a score there to go to 594 to 23. Zeno's going to be at 686. So about a 92,000 point lead for Xenophilius. We get into level 23. ETS cheering on Xenorf. Very good. Xenorf keeps the well under uncovered and gets a Tetris. Goes to 724. SV 653. Managed to squeeze out a little bit of extra efficiency. Take, take back a little bit of lead that Zeno has built up. You know, now at 759 and a 25. SV's there at 690. About 70,000 points separating the two players. But Zeno is clean. Zeno gets a Tetris. They'll go to 790. Have another one. Go to 822. SV takes one back. Goes to 725. Almost a 100k difference at this point. And the clock starting to tick. Starting to wind down. SV looking for the bar. Finally going to get it. Zeno getting a dirty. Though. To maintain this lead. 856. 758. Another score for Zeno. SV is going to fire one back. SV now playing up on row 2. Finally has it back down to the bottom. Might be thinking about... Center welling might be even thinking about left welling here. Because Zeno is continuing to pour it on. 928. The lead now over 120,000 points. SV gets well back to the right. That window is starting to close. 803 to 963. Zeno's three lines ahead. But both these players are rollers. They have the ability to play post-29 play. SV set up for the Tetris. Gonna get it. Go to 872. Has room for two. 966 for Zeno. Room for two as well, but needs bars. Gonna have to take a triple. Gets rid of one. Tetris in the kill screen at A11. SV is at 907 as Zeno begins the post-29 play. SV with a bit of a hole in the stack. Does get one piece over. That left side falling apart for SV. 
Not going to get a whole lot more out of this. Not with that bar flipped. 947 SV is done. Zeno has got A27. 80,000 points to the good. And we'll take game three. GG. All right, we got Hover 3s on both sides. Zeno with a 2-1 lead. One more game to get to the finals. SV looking to bring this to a D-Cider. In. Three, two, one, Tetris. No, no, I, I said two. I said three, two, one. So, uh, and it's not the old classic joke. Why was three afraid of? Why was one afraid of three, two? Why was one afraid of threes, twos? <laughs> I've entertained myself. They are, I'm good. These players are also good, and they are both waiting on bars. They're waiting very patiently. Finally, one arrives for Zeno. SD will get it moments later. And one more for each of them as well. And heck, have another one. Zeno is able to use all of them. Uh, they are six lives ahead at the moment. Now four after that Tetris from SZ, but you know, I had by about 16,000 points as we get going. Game number four. Got a Tetris and a half lead, in fact, at this point. SV looking to try and make sure it doesn't get any bigger. Zeno's going to take it right back. SV needs to win this game to extend the set. If he wants a free trip to the Masters bracket in May, he'll need to make it through this game. I now need to make it through this dig. Finally, the bar comes just in time. Dino definitely needed that bar as well. Got a floating Mino in column 10. Just nothing touching it. It's just hanging out by itself. There we go. SV at 207. 219 for Zeno. A couple lines back. Just two. So again, these two players about as evenly matched as you could ask for. Firing Tetris is back and forth at each other. 256 for SV, 266 for Zeno. You ever feel like a floating Mino? Uh, I think it's got too many syllables. Outside of that, yes, I do actually. 302 for SV, 313 for Zeno. Zeno will add a Tetris. SV waiting patiently for that bar to show up. Oh, hey, bar. Tetris. See, though, creating a bar dependency in the left-hand side. Is Tetris ready? We'll take the score and then deal with the dependency later. Like, I've been a floating Mino my whole life, yeah. Oh, <laughs> SV with the adjustment for the T-spin. And then, thankfully, also absolutely nailing the T-spin. Board a little bit dependent, but all right. Gets the right pieces for it. SV going to 397 on 96 lines, not 88 lines. 384 for Zeno. So Zeno back by a handful of lines, but... Hey, gets a T-spin as well. That's cool. In fact, SV 
with a very slight lead as we hit the 100 line mark. Less than a Tetris. But it is a lead as we approach transition. Great adjustment for Xeno seeing the seeing the where coming next. I see the square tuck, J tuck, beautiful, huge double well, exaggerated double well setup. Good because a couple burns are required. The bar is taking approximately forever to show up. You know, having to add weight to the right hand side. Tetris for SV to go to 514. Now definitely trying to open up a lead here. Zeno's going to get a Tetris to go to 468. 537 for SV, who's five lines ahead. So even taking that into account, SV ahead by about two Tetris as we approach transition. Six lines away for SV, 11 lines away for Zeno. Add a Tetris, but SV will take it right back. 560 to 492. Now the Tetris and SV will transition at 584. Zeno at 539. SV, ooh, this drops in the center of the board. Uses a flat bar there. Trying to work this down. Zeno gets well open, gets a score. They go to 565, still about 25k back. SV still digging, trying to deal with those early misdrops. Nice rooftop burn there. And that is a perfect L to get that hole taken care of in the center. SV is clean. Zeno is clean, waiting on another bar. SV takes a touch with 619, 570 for Zeno. Add a touch, let's go to 595, 20. 4,000 points separating the players. That's less than a Tetris now. Both players go to level 21. Zeno, with a couple more skims required, gets the right well back open. They're ready for business. SV gets a Tetris, but now has to create a bar dependency. Center of the stack. Zeno at 683. 705 for SV. SV gets the well back open. Perfect setup in time for the Tetris. 737 to 712. 25,000 points of difference. SV still to the good right now. And Zeno requiring a couple skins as SV takes another Tetris. Goes to 766. Zeno touches his back. 742. Still 24,000 points between the two players. SV set up for a very delayed Vitz. Bar finally shows up for it. But now SV's had to cover the well up. Zeno gets a well open. 750. SV. 775. Finally gets a well open. But Zeno's going to get back to back Tetris to go to 811 into 25. SV getting high up. Bar just barely comes in time. But there's so much digging left for SV to do. Zeno has taken the real-time lead. SV has to survive this now. Bar for that dependency in column 8. But SV still with so much work to do. Zeno ahead, now ahead by almost 60,000 points. SV manages to get the bar over to the left. Opens up a center well for a moment but has to cover it back up. Zeno tried to run away with this. Now ahead by 90,000. Ready for another Tetris. SV just fighting for his life. Needs a bar for the center. It comes two pieces too late. Zeno now opening up a 120,000 point lead. The piece is coming just barely too late for SV. SV is fighting so hard. Playing some 19-5 this entire time. Into level 28 now. But gets the bar for a split triple and it's going to be huge to survive this well is open. Kill Triss to go to 896. But Zeno is at 821. Has brought that lead to 130,000 points. SV has got to survive this and play through kill screen. Hangs a couple pieces over and SV is done at 898. An incredible survival just to make it so far. But Zeno took full advantage.
GG's. Hell of an effort, SC. Absolute hell of an effort. Hey everybody, this is your old pal Vandweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you and have a nice day.